Is this the first time you've seen The Purge? This is the first time. All right. I, I've seen it. I saw it a couple of years ago. And rewatching it again for the podcast, I pretty much felt the same way I felt the first time. Which is? It has a great concept. It should be really interesting. There's a lot they can play with, and they did almost none of it. I, um, I liked it. I was, I had very, very low expectations. I've never had a desire to see it. I didn't know what to expect. And so going into it thinking that, it actually, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, it definitely could have been better in, in lots of aspects, but I felt like it, it, uh, I don't know. I, I I almost felt like going into it, it was going to be like a Saw type horror movie, mm-hmm. right? Where it's just like ridiculous death upon ridiculous death because it's legal, blah blah blah. Yeah. And then it it actually wasn't it wasn't like that. Not this one, at least. Yeah. So I I liked it. So I th- but, I think the idea of uh, everyone having a day. To commit any crime they want to re- basically relieve their stress, right? That's kind of the, you relieve your stress once, yep. no consequences, do whatever. The next day, everything gets back to normal and this solves the majority of crime, right? Most of the crime goes away, overpopulation fades away, you know, all this stuff is taken care of because, you're, because of the purge. So they established this really interesting concept and then the whole movie is focused on one house and there's not any reason the purge has to happen to tell the story of the house. Yeah, pretty much. It could have been just any of your classic people break in. Yeah, home invasion movies. Terrorize rich people, yeah. Um there are a few th- there are a few things that I don't like. About the rules of the purge, uh-huh. I don't, I don't understand the the concept of like the, the you can't use certain weapons. Yeah, uh, because I'm I I think who's gonna stop me? There's no cops. There's no nothing. That's the whole point. Is well, these what, services are unavailable. What were the weapons you couldn't use? They don't. They're not specific. They they call it like class four or tier four weapons. Oh yeah, or something along those lines. Yeah. So I imagine it's probably like grenade launchers or rocket launchers. You know, something explosive. I don't know. They don't say. Yeah. But I'm like, okay, who's gonna stop me? There's no there's no one here to stop me doing this. Yeah, and there's no police out. Um, Nothing is going on. Everyone is just free to kind of do I whatever guess, they want. I guess the only thing could be. Yeah, no one's going to stop you until maybe the purge is over and then you can be arrested for it. I don't know. Yeah. Well, let's go um, through the, the Let's go through the the yeah, basic right. plot real quick and then we can point out why this plot doesn't really work. <laughs> um but the so it's one family who became rich by selling safety uh security systems for security systems. rich families. And they move yes. into a neighborhood that they've made all their money off of basically because so they sell these like super intense security systems based on the purge so like heavily heavily armored doors and you know cameras and all this different stuff the rolled roll top uh sliding all all kinds of different um preventative measures with bars and all that and so this family it's uh ethan hawk his wife Yep. Who is uh, Lena, Lena Headley. Headley, and then uh, the kid from Parenthood, and I don't know the girl. Yes. No, I didn't recognize Adelaide Kane. Um, yeah, and so they're all at home. The Max or uh, Charlie, uh, the the boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he's very nervous about the purge. He doesn't really know what's going to happen. His family was like, don't worry about it. You know, we've, we've gone through this before. Everything's going to be okay. Our security system's going to work. Uh, I do, one thing that I do like is 
how casual everyone is about it, even even if they don't plan to participate and they know that like their lives are at stake. Yeah. Like no one seems like overly concerned. Like like so besides the kid, you know, everyone's just kind of like, oh hey, stay safe. Yeah, yeah. You know, we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah, everyone's just kind of accepted it. It's not. I don't know exactly. I I'm, I think they might say the number purge that it is like this is our 50th annual purge or whatever but i i don't know it is the sixth one i believe oh is that it or maybe the fifth one okay so the first i i don't i don't remember where but i i remember reading or seeing in in one of the subtitles that the the purge started in 2017 and this movie takes place in 2022 oh okay I don't feel like that's enough so it, time. I mean, it's still a, f- a f- no for them to for it to become so commonplace. Yeah, yeah. It should be like a hundred years or something. You know, like a massive like, amount of like time. Like the Hunger Games, right? Yeah, exactly. Like it, they, where they've already been doing it for fifty years. There should all, at most it, be only one generation that remembers it before it happened. Like, yeah, I was gonna say most characters. There shouldn't be any kids who remember it before. It being like that. Yeah. And that, and that the case would be for them to act this way. Not saying that they need to do yeah. that for the story, but for everyone to be so on board with it, then it should have been going on for a very long time. But that's whatever. Either that or the people just, I, maybe they need to see more like immediate impactful benefits to it. Like, oh yeah, this is, what it is, but look what it's doing for. I guess that's true. The community, because or you know something, because Ethan Hawke, something like that. Ethan Hawke's family, his whole family's life has been drastically changed because of the purge. Crime has gone down almost completely, and they're in a really safe yep. area. So it, they probably feel untouchable almost at this point. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but uh, so yeah, they locked down. Um, their daughter's boyfriend stayed in the house secretly <sighs> because he yep. he was intending to kill the dad, right? That was his plan. I'm going to cuz the dad so the the daughter's boyfriend was too old. Um also, sorry, before I continue with this, the daughter's wearing her school uniform the entire movie. Uh-huh. No way. I, I don't know anyone who wears a uniform who doesn't instantly change as soon as they get home. Oh, yeah, no, for That's sure. That's like the first thing you do. Anyone who wears uniforms a uniform. Uniforms are awful. Either if it's for work, if it's for school, whatever it is, anything you need to wear a uniform for, as soon as you get through your door, you're changing instantly. Yep. And she's wearing her uniform and the son is the whole movie. wearing his uniform. And was Ethan Hawke wearing a suit this whole time? Is that um, in my I, head? He is. I want to say he's he's at least got like a colored shirt on. Yeah, and it's just I don't recall the that. most unrealistic part about this whole movie: no one changing out of their uniforms. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so they're all there. The boyfriend stays and tries to murder Ethan Hawke because the boyfriend is too old for their daughter who. I don't know if they say, let's say he's, she's 17 and he's probably 20, right? I want to say she's 16 or something. Yeah. So yeah. something like that, like a few years age difference. Um, but the dad like is not approving. So he's going to kill the dad. And th- this is my first problem with the idea of the purge is it, you cause emotional harm. Acceptance. Like you, yeah. you may not have That's- consequences. Legally, you're going to have consequences yes, but, relationally. Uh, we're gonna break up because you killed my dad. I don't care if you did it legally. Yeah. Like that's I'm not I don't also just automatically like am okay with yeah. it. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing. Um, um But he ends up dying. Because oh. it's Go ahead. Yeah, well I'm say because it's not like she has like a bad relationship with her father where she wouldn't care if he was killed anyways. Yeah. They seem to have you know, I mean, at least a, a decent relationship. It's like a normal. Where she would be upset. Yeah. yeah, just a bit. Nothing, nothing that stands out. So, for you to do that is is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, you just 
stupid. Yeah. There's, but I mean, it goes to show he, he didn't really plan it out very much anyways. He's probably just not a smart person. Yeah, that's true. Um, so Ethan Hawke ends up killing that guy. And all while that was happening, right before that happens, their son sees this guy running down the street being chased and he's bleeding. Yeah. And so their son opens the door and lets this homeless guy in their house. And now, so they have this stranger who they don't know in their house bleeding all over the place. And they're like, what do we do with him? Why would you let him in? And they're worried that that guy's going to try to kill them. And that's when the, the boyfriend shows up and starts shooting and the black guy runs off and hides. The daughter runs off and hides. Yeah, can you imagine being that guy? Like, you're, you're being chased. You're as prey, essentially, and you find someone to open up their doors to you, and you get inside, and like everyone's shooting at each other inside the house. <laughs> I mean, I think that's kind it's of like, what the I'm, whole... I'm going to leave now. Everything is like anyways. You, just, well, you yeah, don't feel safe that, anywhere. That nowhere, is, yeah. nowhere is safe. Every, anyone can turn on you at any time. Um, but this is the second problem I had with this movie. This house okay. is big, right? Say five bedrooms, probably. Mm-hmm. Would you say? Yeah, yeah. And uh, people just get lost in it. They're like, the daughter's like, I'll see you later, and disappears. And Lena Headley's just like, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like they're a huge thing. Like, they're in the jungle or something like that, right? Like, there's... There's only so many places someone's going to go. But they act yeah. like, it, yeah, oh, exactly. they, I, they're they out of my eyesight, so they're gone forever. Like they're lost in the mall. Is their attitude. And it's just, I know that they're concerned with the, the, the homeless guy in the house, but I don't, it, it doesn't seem that complicated to just find him. It would be funny. I want to see the same situation happen, but to like a family that's got like a small like apartment. And like everywhere they go, they can see where he's hiding. Like he's just like ducking behind the couch, <laughs> or he's just like standing in the bathroom shower. <laughs> like he's got nowhere to hide, yeah. but he keeps like getting away. <laughs> They're just dumb. He, he, yeah, he's like hiding under the table. Well, that's what we should watch next. I don't know if you're done with horror movies or not, but uh, don't breathe. I think might be a fun one. Don't breathe. I've not seen it's that. It's about one. a, it's a home invasion movie, but the guy is blind and he's trying to find these guys who, he's like an ex marine who's blind, who's defending his house from home invaders who are trying to steal money from him. And I think he becomes the, the, uh, the predator. The hunter? Yeah. yeah. Um, huh. But anyways, I just said that because, uh, that's kind of, it sounds similar to what your idea was. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so the homeless guy's in the house. The boyfriend is dead. They're all trying to figure out what to do. Now this group of rich kids come walking down the road, just shooting guns off in the air and like skipping around. They seem like they're on ecstasy, right? Like they don't seem, oh, they're definitely at least on the, something. The main guy seems somewhat normal. Everyone else seems like they're super high. Um, yeah, and and I'll be honest, I did not like that character. I I really I don't care for that that type of character, like the 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 charismatic crazy person. Yeah. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's just been like done a yeah, lot. It's or I just I don't care for it. It's it it is like yeah there there was a time where that was like chilling in its own way because they're not like like a crazy raging psychopath they're they're composed and polite and everything but they're still like murderers but like it's not i don't i don't like yeah. it at least anymore so that character bothered yeah, me yeah no he wasn't i didn't really enjoy him either i think it's a i think it's a bad stereotype or a bad uh, just a bad character that you can put in a movie because they, they do it a lot. Like you're saying, it's overused and it's not that interesting. Um, but this, like, this, um, I will they, say when they show up, brings up my next biggest issue with this movie 
because they're they're mm-hmm. walking down the road firing guns in the air like skipping around and like just dancing like they're just playing now this neighborhood super rich definitely has crazy people willing to protect themselves they would get shot back at yep. at least from the second story or something you know what i mean like i i, I don't see mm-hmm. how there's not someone with a sniper rifle or you know a rifle with a scope on it willing to you know yeah just take them out like it doesn't yeah. seem that difficult I, yeah <laughs> cuz they're just walking down the road you as know if I mean? they were the only well and who's to say that there's not other crazy people who pick this neighborhood you know yeah they don't even have to be people who live there it could be anyone it's like they seem to be the only people out that night purging yeah like it was just this group of people. Yeah. But uh so they figure out that um well, yeah. they I guess they talk to the neighbors is what he says. We talked to your neighbors and they said that you guys let in our prey and you yeah. have to give us our right to kill him because we're purging. And yep. uh Ethan Hawk is like, "You know what? I I totally support it. I'm not trying to take it away. My son is just confused. They let him in." We will find him. We will give him to you. Then they spend the whole movie trying to get him and, you know, get him outside. They take too long. The rich kids outside decide, you know what? We're coming in. We're killing everybody. And yep. they break into the house. And then that's kind of when it turns into just the basic home invasion plot where they're, you know, sneaking around trying to kill people, but they're just dumb. Like they're not good at it. Yeah. They are really dumb. That was the other problem I had was I don't – that's another thing that I don't care for is the like um, the the young killers that are real carefree. You know, like, oh, I'm going to play on the swing set and do like silly things yeah. while I'm also crazy. Like it just bothers well, me. Well, I wish they would have been doing drugs. It would have cleared up a lot. That, you know what I mean? That would have made a lot more sense. If they were, if like, they would have just put and, in and why one they were scene. so haphazard about everything. Yeah. It would have, it would have filled of a them lot of holes. Snorting something or doing something. Yeah. Well, and, and, the, and why they were fixating on that, like one guy, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they didn't. I also, cause, so the homeless guy is black. I kind of, mm-hmm. it felt like it was somewhat racist of them. Oh, it was for sure. Cause, but I wish they would. Oh, of the kids. Yeah, of the kids. I wish they would have hit on that harder. Cause they were just like, he's he's a homeless guy. Is their point? Or, you know, he's worth nothing. And right, it's like, well, if you're gonna have this racial undertone, just go full out on it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know. It seemed kind of like a half measure in that aspect. You know, like. Like, I, I'm not trying to support racism, but, like, it's just kind of a weird... Yeah, like, if this were real life, it would be... It would be... Uh, it would definitely be racially motivated. Well, yeah, it's... it When you watch it, it feels racially motivated, but they don't... Mm-hmm. They don't make it clear that it is. And so... Right, because they don't want to commit yeah, to it. and that's what I'm saying. I wish they would have committed to being racist i don't know it's just uh, i think it would have because so spoiler well, who cares at the end of this movie <laughs> yeah. uh he kind of overcomes right the the black guy the homeless guy overcomes and helps mm-hmm. you know save the family the family and i think it would have been a stronger point if they would have been harsher against him you know if they would have hit on the racist tones and I think it would have been a better commentary on everything, but I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's just a small um, point. I mean, that's, that's one, that was one plot that was super predictable. Yeah. As, I mean, at, at the moment he came in the house, I was like, this guy's going to be a good guy and he's going to save this family. Yeah. Like, that's just, and he, it is what he it is. He essentially does everyone but Ethan Hawk. Ethan Hawk ends up dying, which was a big shock to me. I was, I did not see that coming at all the first time I watched it. Oh yeah. Um, I, which I like that. And so they, they're, 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 
the they're going they're getting ready to kill the family and then all their neighbors show up and kill all the rich kids and Lena Headley's like thank you uh, you know you saved us and they're like yeah so earlier in the movie it's it's implied that the neighbors don't care for this family mm-hmm. because they got rich off of them essentially yeah. And there's there's definitely some some jealousy some there, resentment. uh. So yeah, some resentment. So yeah, they they end up saving them just to Mur- turn it around on them yeah, anyways. Murder them themselves. And I felt like this was so unnecessary of a a plot twist, or it wasn't even a plot twist, just an an additional thing. Like yeah, D- do you think that they? wanted they were going to attempt to murder them the whole time or they saw an opportunity because their defenses were down so they're having a purge party which what exactly is that i think they just get together and drink (laughs) and then wait till the morning comes they're just together oh so they weren't actually gonna go purge. no no i think they're just at a house at someone's house um but they saw that the defenses were down and they went to take their chance because they were frustrated that they got, that Ethan Hawke's family got rich off of selling stuff to that community, and then they felt like they were rubbing it in their face, which doesn't make any sense. Like, they're also all rich. They also... Yeah, they're all rich. They got their money selling whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's it was a dumb motivation, but... It was dumb. Uh, this movie, this movie puts forth the idea that it, it doesn't need to be a strong motivation to kill because it's, it's guilt free killing. So the, yeah, you, any annoyance. Someone look at you the yeah. wrong way, you can yeah. kill them. Um, but the black guy, so the black guy, the, the homeless guy actually doesn't help him out until that point. He comes down and kills yeah. two of the neighbors. And holds them hostage with Lena Headley, and they would just wait the purge out. I think out. he kills just one of them. I think he kills. He definitely kills one. I thought he kills two. It doesn't really matter. He kills. He he shoots them. Then he holds them yeah. hostage, and then they leave when the purge is over. And uh, that's about it. I uh, this movie. That's another one of the. The thing is, it's like, okay, yeah, technically, you are allowed to come over here and kill me. Okay, but you failed at it, and now the purge is over. Like, are we supposed to go back to just being cool neighbors? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things. You know, like, you wanted to kill me. So if if you steal a car, right, it's not illegal to do that. Yeah. But do you just get to keep the car but what after happens? the purge? Well. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what if I rob a bank? Like, or if I just steal things from people, do I got to give it back? Can they come back after it? Do they have no legal recourse? What's the deal? Well, like, I think especially with the idea of a car, right? You have to register the car. So can you go and just register a car you stole? Like, do you have to get the the pink slip from the person and make them sign it over because you got it during the purge? Like, where does that all happen? What if... Yeah. What if you, you shoot someone during the purge and then they die after the purge is over? Is that, does that matter at all? Is it, they're just free at I that point? I would say you're covered. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do some tax fraud during the purge. <laughs> I ain't going to report all my income. I'm going to write off a bunch of stuff. I got 70 dependents. I bet that's what everyone, everyone would just sign their taxes during the purge hours. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, there's, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, holes in this idea. Cause there's a lot of crimes that affect more than just over the, that 12 hours. Yeah, they're not like, yeah, exactly. And I think, I, um, I think if, yeah, it would have been murder is allowed. Like, cause there's a lot of crimes that, because murder is kind of one of the like ones... Like if they, if they made it just murder. Yeah, something like that. Like where it doesn't matter if you attack someone or whatever, but you know, it's strange. It's a, it's a difficult... When you like really start poking at it, you really start finding a lot of holes. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I know. Same thing with the, the who's going to stop me from using the weapons that I want to use yeah. or this and that. One thing that I was going to say that I I don't like, and it's such a little thing, but it really bothers me, is is when they're like announcing that it's time for the purge. You know, there's like the public service announcement. Yes. I hate that they specify murder. Like I, I hate that they say like all crimes will be legal, including murder. I'm like that sounds so dumb. <laughs> Like, I know murder's included. Like, I get that that's also a crime. I don't, for some reason, I, it, it bothers me that they, like, point that one out. I don't know why. Yeah. It, I just, I don't like it. I think it, I think that kind of holds up because it's kind of the big one. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, yeah. Like, I could see, I could see how you, I could see them doing that the first year. Yeah. Like, hey, this is this is really happening. You can murder, but like we're in our fifth year. Like I, get you want it. them to record a new I, recording every year? It's a little ridiculous, Taylor. Could, they could have just re- recorded a new one year two and then been done with it. <laughs> um, what another thing that I, I I feel like in real life you'd see is uh, there was not enough arson. Yeah, there would definitely be a lot more I feel vandalism. Like people looting. would just be burning these houses although at at the same time i don't know i don't know how much people would be out doing petty crimes because the risk is so high oh i didn't realize uh, arson was a petty crime well like if you're going out you know to just set something on fire that's pretty low compared to going out with a group to just murder everyone you see. Not if you're a pyro. It's, As I am. <laughs> I don't know. I still feel like you could just light a trash can on fire and watch that over the course of the night instead of risking getting chopped no, to death by machines. I can do that. I can do that every every day during the year. I want to be able to go out. Like if fire is my thing, right? Uh-huh. I want to be able to go out and burn something big down that I can't normally do. <laughs> like I want to go burn. I, I uh, no, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I, I I want to go. I want to go burn down like a, a whole like block. Yeah. So, you know, I want to do something huge. Uh, but what if you're gonna get murdered in doing that? Well, I mean, there's. Yeah, but there's still risk in doing that if you just want to go out and murder. Yeah, but you're at least going out with the idea to murder. You like you're going out to but be it, the predator. Maybe I want to burn people. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I want to walk around with the flint. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it makes sense. No, I get what you're saying. I'm saying I don't know if it were me and this were real life. I would probably lean a lot more towards just burning stuff down than killing people. <laughs> that, that, and then all, obviously doing the, the tax fraud. <laughs> just burning your taxes? Would yeah, that satisfy? Burning your taxes. Yeah. That would, that would two birds with one stone. All right. Well, we actually also watched The Purge Anarchy. I think let's wrap this episode up and then we'll, we can uh, record that one next because I think there's a lot more to talk about with The Purge 2. Yes. Uh, but The Purge 1... Is is interesting. Uh it's an it's kind of a disappointing entry into the purge verse. <laughs> but uh Um the one thing that I did like was I did like the uh I don't know how to word it, the shooting, I guess. Cause cause Ethan Hawk, right, he's mainly walking around with a shotgun. Uh-huh. And I like that when the people are getting shot, like I feel like you're seeing what like would really happen to a person's body getting shot by a shotgun. Mm. Like they're, they're ragdolling, right? They're getting like flipped over things and they're like sprawling out. It's not just like, Oh, I'm getting blasted backwards or I, I thought, I thought that was done well. Mm. Um, but that was about it. <laughs> yeah. It, as far as that goes, at least it's not like, it's not the best movie. It's not, it's not even that great of a home invasion movie. Um, no. but I, I, I don't regret watching it. Like I didn't, I enjoyed it somewhat oh, for sure. the second time. Like it's one that you kind of have to just accept 
the uh, the issues. The yeah, rules. Like, yeah. You just uh-huh. have to kind of be on board to go with where they're going, and it gets better. Mm-hmm. If you think about it too much, it's it's a lot harder to enjoy, but uh, yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah, which that's fine. It, it doesn't. It's it's not a movie that really requires you to think that much. You know, you can just sit and yeah. watch it. So don't worry about the rules. But uh, yeah, if you like our podcast, if you want to help us out, you can go over to Patreon. Uh, for a dollar, you can vote for Taylor or I, and whoever has the least amount of votes will have to pay the punishment. Um, yeah. You can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod or like us on Facebook.